Hello beautiful people and welcome to today's video and happy new year. It is officially 2021. We made it through 2020 and I feel like if we can make it through 2020, we can make it through anything. So I have been pretty busy the past couple of weeks and I'm finally starting to settle down and that means buckling down and figuring out exactly what I want for myself this year. Now normally I do this process by myself or with friends but this time I wanted to do it with you guys. This video is going to be broken down into three parts. The first part is me actually writing down exactly what I want for this year and for this I'm going to be using the Artist of Life workbook. This workbook was created by another youtuber her name is lavender and she makes amazing prompts and worksheets for self-improvement i absolutely love her channel now you do not need this workbook in order to do the worksheets that i'm going to do in it you can just follow along with the prompts on a regular piece of paper but if you are interested in getting this workbook because she does have some amazing worksheets to do throughout the year just to keep yourself on track i will obviously be leaving that um in the description down below the second part of this video is going to be me doing a physical vision board with you guys so I have my vision board right here I also have the photos that I printed out that I'm going to be using for my vision board and I just want to create that with you guys I love doing physical vision boards just because there's something to actually hold something about having the photos and pasting them the way that I want to it just brings the vision alive and then for part three we're going to be doing a digital vision board I'm going to take the exact same photos that I printed out and I'm going to be using Canva to actually make a digital vision board just because Canva is free and everybody can use it and then that way you can use it on the background of your computer or your cell phone that way you can see your vision board everywhere you look and it's more likely that you'll take the actions to actually do what you want on your vision board when you're constantly seeing it so if you guys are interested in planning your 2021 with me then just keep on watching Okay, so to start off in the 2021 Artist of Life workbook, it says, hello, 2021. Now it's the time to ring in the new year and relish in new beginnings. This is such an exciting time, so take advantage of the energy of this moment. Your new life begins here. Let's get started. I think that is so cute. Okay, so the first thing it says is, my theme for 2021 write your theme for 2021 above your new year theme is a word slash phrase that represents what you want to bring into your life and continue to focus on throughout the year it's your guiding light my theme for 2021 is going to be luxury you guys this is the last year of my 20s and i am ready to live it up. I am going to be 29 in March and normally my goals are to save money and get rid of debt but this year I honestly I just want to live it up I want to make this year so fun so exciting so my theme for 2021 is going to be luxury so the first prompt says what can I do to embody my theme in 2021 okay so the first thing that I'm going to put um, under what I can do to embody my theme for 2021 is to say yes to opportunities and by this I mean a lot of the times I overthink opportunities and therefore I miss out on a lot of things and I can't have this fun exciting life if I'm so scared to take a risk or just to say yes so the first thing I'm going to put is say yes to opportunity the second thing that i put is dress the part how you dress and present yourself has a lot to do with how you feel and i can't feel luxurious or live this certain lifestyle if i'm dressed basic or i don't 
feel luxurious. So one thing that I do want to do is wake up every day and do something that makes me feel or embody this lifestyle. And dressing the part is such a huge, huge part in that. So I'm not going to tell you every single thing that I'm putting on here. This video would just get way too long. I just wanted to give you guys a few examples of what I'm doing for each prompt. So the next prompt is how do I want to affect feel in 2021 and obviously the first thing is I want to feel luxurious I want to feel rich I want to feel excited I want to take life by the horns and just say life I'm here that's exactly how I want to feel this year the next prompt says how do I want to evolve in 2021 this is a big one I feel like I want to become my most authentic self I feel like I put off a part of who I am because I'm so scared that people will judge me. Um, I don't want people to think that I'm stuck up or that I'm Hollywood because I wear certain type of things or I have certain type of things and I am putting that in the past. I'm going to live the way that I want to live no matter what anyone thinks because what I've learned in my almost 29 years of living is that people are going to judge you no matter what. If you do something, people are going to judge you. If you don't do it, people are going to judge you. So live your most authentic self. And the last prompt for the theme of 2021 is what do I want to release in 2021? It gave examples of stress, social media envy caring about what others think and honestly all of these are things that I want to release in 2021 and like I said earlier um people's opinions of me are something I definitely want to release in 2021 I felt like it's such a crutch and it's been holding me back for so long um YouTube, for example, I really care and I really overthink about what people, um, what people think and what people say about me. And I feel like it stops me from growing instead of just saying, you know what, who cares what people think because they're going to think what they're going to think anyways. So that is my biggest one is to release what, um, the opinions of others, because honestly, who freaking cares? Also, my laziness. I am super lazy, you guys, and it has stopped me from growing in all areas of life. So I really want to wake up every day with a purpose and attack the day. Um, so laziness is another thing that I want to leave in 2020. Okay, you guys, so now that we know the theme of our 2021 and we know how we want to feel and what we want to embody, now it's time to make our physical vision boards. Now, if you're not really into physical vision boards and you'd much rather have like a digital one that you can put on your computer and your phone, you can go ahead and completely skip this step. I like to do a physical one as well as a digital one just so that I can see it everywhere around me. Now, I found all my photos on Pinterest and Google and I just typed in luxury, um, luxury lifestyle, luxury themes, things of that sort and I found all of the photos that I thought embodied what I wanted in 2021 and then I took them to a Walgreens and I had them printed out. I just think that they look a lot better when they're printed out on photo paper versus just um, printing them from a printer but you can do that as well. My vision board from last year is printed out on paper and that works just as well but I just think because you know my thing for 2021 is luxury it looks more luxurious printed out on photo paper and this costs about ten dollars to print out about like 30 items but again you do not have to do this um, I just thought it went with the theme of my life for this year so what I like to do is lay out all my photos before I start gluing anything down that way I can see how everything looks and how everything is going to be on the board before it's permanently on there and if I want to rearrange anything I can do that so I'm going to just go ahead and lay all my items down and rearrange them the way that I like to oh, yeah. I
Okay you guys, so I have just finished gluing all of my photos onto the board. I love the way it looks. Again, there are some blank spaces because I do have to reprint some of the photos that did not turn out well when I printed them the first time, but I love this so much. I cannot wait to replace my old one with this one. It just turned out perfectly. Now we're going to do the exact same thing except for it's going to be digital. I'm going to use all the same photos. You do not have to use the same photos if you do not want to, but I love the photos that I picked and it really embodies what I want to have this year. So I'm going to use all the same photos. I'm going to go on Canva and I'm using Canva just because it's free and I'm familiar with Canva because I used to use it to do my thumbnails. Now I use PicMonkey, but Pick Monkey is not free, so I'm going to go ahead and do a digital version of this on Canva. I'm going to share my screen with you so you guys can see exactly what it is that I'm doing. It's super easy. I think a digital vision board is a little bit easier because you can resize all of your photos to make them as small as big and to fit anywhere you want versus with the physical, you kind of are limited to the size of the photos but again I just love a physical vision board which is why I did both so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys really quick how I did my digital vision board and then we'll be done okay beautiful people that wraps up today's video I hope you guys have enjoyed I had so much fun making these vision boards with you guys. I hope you got some ideas and came up with a theme that you want for 2021. Have fun with it. Don't take it too seriously. Honestly, this is just a blueprint. If three days from now or even six months from now, you come up with a different theme in your life, do another vision board. There are no rules, okay? As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and hit that little bell so you're notified when I post a new video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye beautiful people and happy new year.